Modern Yu-Gi-Oh! has spawned a remarkable new deck building trend. As the game has evolved to become increasingly fast and hyper consistent, players have begun constructing colossal 60 card piles instead of the typical 40 card lists of the past. But what would happen if someone tried applying this new deck building logic to a retro format, like say, Edison format? Would 60 card builds result in brilliance, madness, or a little bit of both? In this series, I'm gonna find out. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of 60 Card Pile. It has been a long time since I've done one of these, mainly because I kind of ran out of ideas, but I thought of a new one, which is uh, this crazy recruiter control pile with rats and tomatoes. <laughs> it's like got some fun stuff going on. I don't know how much the pet in the dark clown or the hero kid is going to come up, but they're in there. They're in there and uh, they, they can work with debris and Kai's and stuff, so maybe. And uh, we've got a bunch of staple. We got the triple creature swap, the Keegan special. <laughs> we've even got a copy of Monster Gate, which is like you can go into. I don't know. It's a way to use the bodies, I guess, that you that you generate um, off your recruiters. We got one copy of Dandelion to get off Foolish or or Giant Rat. Goes with the Debris Dragons pretty well. There's a ton of Debris targets if you really think about it. Between Pet and Hero Kid, Fairy Lily, Card Trooper, Dandelion, Spirit Reaper. There's like a lot. There's like a lot. So we're on the triple Debris Dragon. Deck is kind of slow, so we have to play a ton of defense. So we are playing a ton of defense. And um, no sides, so they actually are just a bunch of synchros that we can make with the Breed Dragon and uh, generically with the Plague as well because we have Arma Plague on, to go with our Triple Tomatoes. Uh, yeah, just very very slow but sort of uh, fun control strategy we're going to try out here today. All right, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we pick Rock. No, uh... Well, tragically, we have lost RPS, and we've also opened Hero Kid. The whole reason we played 60 was to avoid this. Goddamn. All right. There's going to be a charge. Milling Storm is good, I guess. Although we don't really want to set our hand with Tragodia. Okay. So, I, I could just be greedy and ram Hero Kid, which is what I'm going to do. Attack. And if it's not Raikou, you got me good there. Imagine. <laughs> Alright, we take 800. I could just drop this and steal the tomato, but I don't feel like doing that, so we're going to set two. Um, yeah, I'm still not going to do it. Um, maybe I could set Plague. Could also attack the set monster with the Plague. Let's just hit a random back row with Dust Tornado. How's that for a plan? Magic Drain? What on earth? Alright. Wow, these are bad draws. Whatever. Let's summon Tomato. The correct art versus the bad art. If I hit the wrong backer, I'm going to be so mad. Okay, we're all good. No deep prison. Uh, I may as well go through his tomatoes. I think he goes first, right? Because they're both optional. All right, he goes Sangan. I go my Sangan. Hit into the one that might be Raikou this time. I don't know. All right, it was. Excellent. Uh, who do we want to get? Who do we want to get? What's in my graveyard? Not great. I could get Debris to try and have, but it's like really slow here I think I will though I could also get card trooper now let's get debris dragon we can go like fairy lily into whatever I don't know it gives us a four for trag too if he summons a four
All right, I'm, I've never fallen for this in my life, buddy. <laughs> I'm not dropping track here. I know you have Caius. There's just no way you don't. Um... Hmm. This is really bad. I should have gotten... Let's see. Uh... See, this is a rough spot. I could attack over the Sangan, but... That would take a lot of damage. I could also just ram and try to Black Rose at a later date. I could ram Petten. Yeah, I think I will ram the Petten. Um, although that doesn't... That's a little irritating, actually. Uh, maybe this was a bad play. Let's hit this. All right, uh, you know what? Let's just go next, right? Yeah, I mean, let's just go next. I think I played that really poorly. Um, I could have maybe dropped Trag and pitched the Fairy Lily main too, but that's just not like good, you know. Let's go with this. This set you. And now we are going to dust shoot. What is going on with my opponent's hand here? Okay. Let's get rid of the Sangan. Rain, bottomless trap hole, MST, debris. All right, we can go just Caius, their guy, and that's, like, fine. All right, the MST a road, which is good, because that road was looking real useless. Uh, let's just go for the Caius. Then hopefully they bottomless. Okay. And now they have a Debris Dragon and an Unknown card. I guess we just summon this. Get that. Make Ancient Fairy Dragon. Attack. And that deals with that. Opponent is apparently very bricked. So, if I do this, I'm going to summon him, I guess. Sucks that I keep drawing him, but... <laughs> Whatever. We can creature swap now, since we know he, he's got the magic drain, but we have a second spell. Alright, the back row complicates things, so I'm just going to keep attacking. Alright, mirror force is rough for sure, but it's not the end of the world. We have Gores backing us up. Alright, he has Charge. That's not that big of a deal. We can get a plus one off Black Rose if we choose to here. Alright. The question is, do I? I could just attack with Petten and get rid of it. I think I'm going to do that. Yep. Go ahead, opponent. There are some weird techs. All these compulsories and... Friggin' magic drain. Alright, Mirror Force is gone, so like our Gores is going to be pretty strong here. What do they make? 
pretty much no matter what, we should be able to get rid of this Stardust. Let's drop the Gores. Draw a Tomato. We go Summon Tomato. Battle Phase. We could just take the Stardust. Let's see. Tomato hit over Token. Whoops. Hmm. I guess we should try to hit over the Stardust. Because if he has a Battle Trap, it could mess me up. So we'll do that. One their turn. Alright, that's no big deal. He has to go Black Rose here. I mean, it is rough that he had the other Debris, but... I know he's going RDA. That's so greedy. We can Mega Punish with the Creature Swap. Take 300. All right. I can Brain Con first. Opponent Magic Drains. Should I negate that? Let me think about it. No, I'm not going to negate it. We're going to Creature Swap. Alright. Battle phase attack. Opponent is thinking. What do they have? They have a D prison. All right, do you have a stop for this too? That would be pretty unfortunate. Nope. Okay. So we get something. What do we want? Sanghan, maybe? I don't think there's a way I kill. It's probably just Sanghan, right? Maybe another tomato. I think we need to keep the recruiters going since we only get one normal summon per turn. Alright, they drop Trag. That's like, whatever. There's some whack stuff going on in this list. Worst of all, the wrong tomato art. Oh no, did they top deck? Uh, no, no, never mind. Never mind. We're all good. We got another creature swap. What even is this thing? They set a quick draw over it. Okay. Well, let's try and attack for game here. All right, it worked. Ray. Now we gotta go second against the hamster Raiko Kai's deck with our slow ass deck. So, not looking too good. Maybe, maybe if we, wait, our opponent's on 55, I just noticed. Why do I keep drawing Hero Kid? Ah, what was the point of 60, man? All right, I'm setting him. Setting him and setting you, and then we're done. Don't care what happens to either of these monsters. The fact that they didn't set back row means it might be Raikou. Okay, no, it's a Treeborn, that's wild. We can get them with a big gores here, though. Take 24. Drop the big boy. Now we're in business. Do they have their own gores? Is that what's happening right now? No, wait. They just want their treeborn live, I think. Hmm. So is it better to summon Tomato or Rat here? 
I think I'm gonna go with the rat. I think the rat is slightly better. Wait, wait, I could ram get Dinah. That's actually, yeah, I'm doing that. Shuts off the Treeborn and shit next turn. Means we don't have to worry about gores or anything. Oh, that was so genius. I'm so smart. Set you. Set you. If they storm and I have to road, I guess it kind of sucks because then I won't get the Stardust because the Dinah's face up. Also, if they have brain control in 55, that would be annoying. <laughs> I did not realize they were on a crazy high deck count, man. This is truly a battle of the... Battle of the whack builds. Oh no, they had it! Come on! That's some horseshit. <laughs> Wait, they only took 80. Seven hundred and twenty more, my guy. Dang, that was like the only out in their entire deck, I bet. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know what to do now. That was our win con, and they just happened to have the brain con. The brain con and the Caius. Truly brutal. Alright, I'm going to play around Gores. What the... Take the correct amount, man. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, the putting them out of brain con range just doesn't matter, like, legitimately. So, I'm gonna pass here. Alright, do they have the third Caius, though? That is the... that's the question. I don't know. A lot of stuff messes up messes up us up here, to be honest, because we went all in on that fossil dino. And it just got outed like immediately. <laughs> like even if that's just like a hamster, you know, that messes us up. Whatever. We attack. We attack. It was just a tomato, okay. Well now we can actually that's actually very good for us, because we can ram through all the tomatoes. Yeah, he is going for another tomato. So we're going to do this. Okay, he gets his Sangan. Do I want to get my Sangan? I could also just get another tomato and hit over it. could also get Sangan... Sync for Android, gain some life. Or I could just crash the Sangans and search something good. There's nothing that great to search. I don't know. Uh be honest, I think I might just get another tomato. Deal some damage. Yep. Opponent having Trag is not good for us. I won't sugarcoat it. That's bad news. I can make Brio bounce it, I guess. Quick draw. Okay. I think I'm just going to leave my field how it is. Maybe. Pretty confident we're not going to lose the game here. Pretty confident. Not sure, though. <laughs> Yep, 
Yeah, Treeborn. Yep. It's fine. So the question is, are they going to go for Drill? Or what are they going to do here? They don't have a Debris play that I'm aware of. Unless they pitch the Dandy with the Quick Draw, then go for it. But we have the Road, so it's like, whatever. All right, he's going to steal my Plague. That's, I mean, who even cares? <laughs> I guess you could make Stardust, and that would be annoying because it turns off my bottomless, but it doesn't deal with anything on my board, actually. Okay, he's going to go for Black Rose. Effect. We have the Road. We have the Stardust. That worked out well for us. And we still have Bottomless. Although he could still potentially have multiple plays. I wonder if he has the... The Gores on top of the Trag. Because we thought he had Gores that whole time. I think if he goes Drill, we just let that through, probably. Yeah, that seems reasonable. If he goes something that actually threatens our board, though, we could stop it. Mm. Maybe we shouldn't. Because he could make, like, a mist worm. Mist worm's not that great for him, though. He goes, like, what, stack one, and then sync with everything, put all this back, and then I have tomato... Gale. I'm kind of just cool with Mistworm. So I feel like we just let this through. Uh, that I don't have to let through, I don't think. I'm going to bottomless that. And you can still do another play. We could stack for Plague and maybe Sync for something. But we got options next turn, too, with Plague and Gale. So long as our Tomato doesn't... I don't, I don't know what's happening to our Tomato. I don't think it's dying, though. So, we're all good. Should I have put Armor Master in my extra? Maybe I should have instead of, like, this Urbellum. Alright, they have Debris. Okay, that lets them make... Em we're just dead. We're just dead to that. Unless they don't see the line, which is possible, but we are just dead to that. I guess we'll, we'll wait around and see if they see it or not. All right. They either don't play Armory Arm or they don't see it, so we have a chance. <laughs> either one of those is basically a misplay. <laughs> Ooh, back row. Okay. What could that back row be? It could be literally anything. God. Um. Hmm. I don't think we can afford to play around mirror here. Let me think. I could go Mistworm. Yeah, okay. Mistworm seems like a play. I play that card, right? We summon the pet. Let me get 
get the mist worm. We bounce these two. All right, the opponent gets to live. But they are top decking. But they have that call. Yeah. All right, we can play it out. I'll play it around out for the fans, but I think we just lose to that. So sucks too because they missed lethal last turn, and I thought we had a shot. But I guess all right. Well, we did. We just have to go for it because if we don't, we're going to die to that call next turn. And if he has Torrential Mirror, we lose the duels. So yeah, that's just how it'd be. All right, he's using the call now. What's he bringing back? Dandelion. All right, we hit over that. I feel like he should have just brought back Sangan and gotten a a debris, right? Or a tomato even? What on earth? How did our opponent lose that game? That was wild. I mean they just blatantly missed lethal on that one turn though. Like, should not have been in that game. Should not have been in that game at all. But whatever. I guess it was a wild match. It was a wild match between two wild decks. And uh, I guess you can't fault the opponent too much for, for missing lethal that one turn because people make like minor mistakes like that all the time and definitely can, definitely can cost you. So hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.